Thank you for joining me on my masterclass today and today we're going to talk about NFTs. Now the reason why we're talking about NFTs is because I got an email, I actually got two emails, uh, several emails but I picked on two, one from Kende in Nigeria and another from Steven uh, in Tanzania. You know and they're asking me why uh, should we go into NFTs, uh, Pastor Reno convinced us on why we should go into NFTs. Now. I don't need to convince you. I don't even want to convince you. The thing is that you should only go into NFTs, cryptos, or any sector because of knowledge, because you understand the sector. You don't want to go into any sector because you've heard that there's money there. Because what that is, that's greed. And greed is impatient. So if you go into any business with, with greed, because you've heard there's money there, What's going to happen is that you're going to lose your money very quickly and you're going to become very bitter. That's what happened with the gold rush in the United States. You know, people heard, oh, there was gold in Klondike, there was gold in California, there was gold here. And then they were all going to all these places. You know, the real people who made money were the people selling tools to them, selling land to, land to them. Because they were being led by greed. You want to be led by knowledge. And knowledge is what's driving NFTs. And that's why, you know, everything is going digital. Everything. I mean, you can name anything. Everything is going digital. Everything. Even planes. Planes are going digital. Airline pilots have very, very little to do. Commercial pilots, military jet pilots, they have very little to, to do. Computers, digitalization is taking over. You know, um, your electronic gadgets at home, you see, they are becoming more and more digital. You talk about your phone, you had a rotary phone, you know, initially. And then you had those phones in cars. And then you had the brick phones, then you had the cell phone, now you have the smartphone. You know, and today, as I speak to you, more young people are on their smartphones than watch television. So that's why advertisers are going to YouTube. YouTube last year they paid out twelve billion dollars to YouTubers. It's going to rise this year, you know. So I mean, what network I mean is able to do that? That's what they've paid out. So imagine what they've even kept for themselves. So you can just imagine. So the future is digital, and that's why Facebook, you know, uh, changed their name to Meta because they want to get involved with the metaverse. What's the metaverse? An alternate reality where things are happening. Real estate is being sold on the metaverse. A lot of people don't even know that. But young, young people, younger people, they know that. There are sections of San Francisco, sections of Los Angeles, sections of DC, sections of London that you can actually buy on the metaverse and you, people are making money. Money that you can take out of the metaverse and bring it into this um, reality and be a millionaire. And young people are making this money. So, the, I mean, I don't want to convince you to go into NFTs. No, 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 I don't want to convince you. You know, I've made money. A lot of people have made money. My staff have made money. My own staff have made money, you know, and they've, they've actually made more money than I have because like I travel a lot. So a lot of times, you know, I, I'm doing evangelism and traveling. So I'm not able to focus. You know, I tend to travel with my staff, but I travel with one at a time. All my staff have made money. You know, I'll tell you something. So you see, a lot of celebrities, and these are not just like, um, you know, like uh, shallow celebrities. Some, some celebrities that you know that are deep and intelligent. They are all into NFTs. I'll give you an example. Snoop Dogg is into NFTs. He's a big NFT guy. He's made like something like $17 million from NFTs. You can research it. Don't take my word for it. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, you know, the basketballer. He's into NFTs. Steph Curry, the, I mean, I think he's one of the MVPs. He's into, but he's into, and you know, he lives in the same California, the Bay Area as I do. You know, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Fallon, the late night talk show host. He's into NFTs. Jay-Z, ooh, big time into NFTs. Serena Williams, she and her husband are into NFTs. In fact, her husband just gave her an NFT. I think it was, it's now, he bought it, but now it's now worth like maybe something like um, five times how much he bought it. You know, Reese Witherspoon, in fact, Reese Witherspoon, she's so into NFTs, you know, that, you know, she's now, you know, created a series and they sold out, boom, like that, you know. So you think about it, Lil Baby Paris Hilton. Now, Eminem, you know, in fact, in Eminem's own case, oh my gosh, Eminem made 1.7 million from his Shady Coin NFT. In just, in just an auction, 1.7 million. Now, for someone like Eminem, for Eminem, it's not a lot of money. But the thing is that this is money that you can make. What does it take to make an NFT? It's so easy peasy that I described it in a video. If you want to know how to make it, go watch that video. I did more than one video. I did about six videos where I taught people how to make an NFT 
after I did that video, some people got back to me and said, okay, well, um, we, we don't know, how, we, we're not very good at, uh, at art, we would like to buy and sell. So I taught people how to flip NFTs. And then some people, they wrote back to me and said, well, the gas fees are so high, the gas fees are so high. It's okay, if the gas fees are your problem, I researched and I taught people how to buy NFTs and sell NFTs without paying gas fees on, you know, um, uh, t two platforms, I believe. Watch those videos. Now, <clears throat> I've been doing this because I want to address poverty. There's so much poverty in Africa, Asia, even in the United States, among especially the African-American community. And I've been throwing money at this. I mean, a lot of you know I've been throwing money. Last year, I gave out 2.7 million Naira in Nigeria alone. I gave out money in India. I gave out money in um, uh, other African countries. I gave out money in the United States. But you can't throw money at poverty because you're creating dependency. And that's why I began teaching you people. I began teaching you. I mean, I taught you guys about 12-year-old Binyamin Ahmed. Look at how much money he's made. He's now a millionaire. A millionaire in dollars. 12-year-old boy. Now, listen to this. If a 12-year-old can do it, you can do it too. You know? Ah, you got to forgive me. It's winter here. If a 12-year-old can do it, you can do it too. You know? I mean, I mean, I'll tell you something now. Snoop's NFT. Snoop, his own NFTs. You know? Um, he's made so much money from his NFTs that I'm even thinking that Snoop in, in, is probably going to retire into just NFTs and uh, crypto, you know, and then leave music and then, um, you know, the other thing he's doing into, which I mean, is kind of controversial, uh, legal marijuana, you know? So you, I mean, you, you think about that. You think about, you know, and with Riz Witherspoon, the actress, she's not just into NFTs, she's also into Ethereum. And like I told you guys, if you can't go into NFTs, go into crypto. And if you're going to go into crypto, Bitcoin is now beyond the reach of most people. You can buy a fraction, yes, but Ethereum is the way to go. Ethereum, or also called Ether or ETH. To me, Ethereum is much better than Bitcoin. Now, why do I say so? Ethereum is the blockchain technology that is driving NFTs. In case you don't know, it's not Bitcoin, it's Ethereum. Their blockchain technology is what is driving NFTs. They are driving video games, they are driving a lot of things. It's, the currency is more widely acceptable than probably Bitcoin. And here's the thing, you know, all, I mean, all the, all the cryptocurrencies have been relying on the uh, proof of work, proof of work uh, protocol. And then Ethereum, the guys behind Ethereum, and a lot of these guys, you know, they tend to be anonymous. Some of them contact me, you know, some of them are in Russia, they're in Lithuania, they contact me, they, want to, they offer me a lot of money that, oh, Reno, just talk about our coins. I say, look, I'm not going to, I'm not in this to make money, I'm in this to, uh, to spread prosperity. And then if you start giving me money, then what's going to happen is that I won't be able to be objective anymore. That's another story. But Ethereum, and, the, and uh, I've not collected a dime from Ethereum. You know, and you can research this. But Ethereum, they've come up with the proof of stake protocol, which allows multiple, multiple transactions to be done at once, which is like how I put it now, how would I how would I explain now? It's like having like mini, 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 mini central banks, reserve banks in different cities. So whereby, you know, like um you th things are not done in seconds anymore, they are done in nanoseconds. And that's what it's, so Ethereum, I'll advise you, buy, 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 buy. Because Ethereum is going to be like Bitcoin, even more than Bitcoin someday. And if you don't buy Ethereum now, you're going to cry later. My name is Ronald Mokri. If you've watched this video and you have questions, you know, put them in the comment section. My staff and I were very, very good at responding to comments. Or you can send me an email and then we'll respond to the emails, you know. But then there are some questions that do need to be asked. If you want to know how to buy um, NFTs, how to make NFTs, what uh, cryptocurrencies are, are to buy, how to create a digital wallet, all of these things I have responded to them before in my previous videos. Go and watch them. And also, I do not have a WhatsApp forum. You know, you have a bunch of scammers from all over the world, Russia, Nigeria, United States, you know, taking advantage of the vi my vi videos going viral to come on the comment section to put people, tell people helpline. And then they put a, question, um, a finger pointing helpline and they put a WhatsApp number. They have scammed a lot of people. Some of them have become suicidal. Do not fall victim. I don't have a WhatsApp um, uh, number. I don't have a Gmail um, helpline. No, everything I do is for free. I don't ask you to pay money. Thank you for watching and God bless you.